Morning, everybody. We're looking at 59 degrees as you head out the door. Humidity is a little bit higher. No big deal. You'll just see a little uh, probably dew on the car, a little windshield wiper activity. But we got up to 77 yesterday. Certainly a gorgeous day. Nice little sea breeze blowing in. Got up to about 28 miles an hour. Now today we're going to be maybe 80 degrees. So uh, uh, it, this has been a very slow transition. And the reason for the quiet weather over Texas and the slow transition into a hotter weather and maybe some instability is because we're in the middle of two storms. Okay, today another sea breeze day. Winds coming in at maybe 20, 25 miles an hour. So it'll be a little on the gusty side by afternoon. But uh, the Doppler radar is on. There is no precipitation in the entire state of Texas right about there. But as I mentioned, of course, you heard on the East Coast, Folks in Boston are still digging out. This is another monster northeast. They're calling them nor'easters, and the reason is, to me, a nor'easter comes right up the Atlantic seaboard. These have come out over the landmass and then deepened once they hit the Atlantic. That's not a nor'easter to me. However, <laughs> nonetheless, they're digging up. So uh, as you can see, Boston, New York, Long Island. Uh, now on the other side of the world, uh, in California, this is an extremely wet storm. They're looking for tremendous amounts of flooding because the rainfall totals in the valleys are expected to be in the five to 10 inch range. Here's and of course, it's quite point. unstable. This is uh, in um, where Plumas County. Uh, and you can see the uh, tornado there or funnel crowd. I may be hitting the ground over there. So a uh, very unstable air. And this is an un uh, unusually strong storm for this late in the season. I mean, this is now late March, uh, but uh, it's a miracle. They needed the moisture and the precipitation, but uh, obviously they don't need the problems. The problem in uh, Santa Barbara, you remember they had that big fire. Well, that's all burned area. There's nothing to hold the water. So the water falls and creates all kinds of mudslides. A lot of people already being evacuated. And you can see a huge plume of heavy rain and snow. Now, I wish I could tell you it's a good snowstorm, but it's coming up so far south. The snow level's a little bit on the high side with that system. As far as we're concerned, not a bad looking day. A little bit of more of a sea breeze bringing back the Gulf moisture. Things are looking good. As I mentioned, storm on that side, storm on this side. Well, that creates a nice weather that we're getting. But eventually, this thing is going to start crossing the Rockies. The question is, will it affect us? You'll notice that um, the moisture is coming back in. You know, when it's brown, it's dry. When it's green, it starts getting humid. And you can see how we'll be rising up into the 50s and 60s in dew points. And, uh, you know, it's nothing to worry about. You'll just be feeling a little bit of humidity out there. So that's the trend as the, saw, as the onshore flow goes. High pressure continues dropping down into the southeast. We're going to see more and more clouds over the next couple days. Temperatures warming up into the 80s. We have, of course, had that west coast front. Most of the energy car crosses through the plains, and this front doesn't really get to our area. However, a lot of energy down here is going to start affecting us middle of next week, and that's when the rain chances come back. So lovely for today and tomorrow. We'll call it partly cloudy. Temperatures about 80 degrees, a little breezy Saturday and Sunday because of an onshore wind. Uh, boaters keep that in mind quite windy in the afternoon hours. And then we start seeing isolated showers beginning Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, courtesy of the remnants of that stuff on the West Coast. That's